Notice here we have a problem that has two radicals in it instead of one. Remember when we had one radical, we just isolated the radical on one side and squared both sides. We're going to have to do that here, but we're going to have to do it twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate square root of x plus 4, and I'm going to pull the other radical to the other side of the equation. Okay, notice all I've done is move the square root of x minus 4 to the other side of the equation. Notice that it had a subtraction sign in front of it. Now it is a positive expression because remember when we move things to the other side of the equation, it changes its sign. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides of the equation. Now when I square the left hand side, it's no problem because that's just going to come out from underneath the radical and we're going to have x plus 4. No big deal. It's the right hand side that's going to be a problem. When I square that side, it really means square root of x minus 4 plus 2 and that there are two of them being multiplied together. So we're going to go to another piece of paper and we're going to do that work on a separate scrap piece of paper. So what I've done is I've written it down twice because I'm going to multiply. When you multiply here, square root of x minus 4 times square root of x minus 4, remember that the expression just comes out from underneath the radical. When I multiply square root of x minus 4 times 2, it works just like any other algebra, and I'm going to say that's 2 times the square root of x minus 4. Now I've taken care of the bottom row, and I've multiplied this one times both of these on the top. Now I have to multiply the 2 times both of these. So the 2 times this expression is another 2 times the square root of x minus 4. When I take 2 times 2, I get 4. So we need to just combine all of our like terms just like we would in any other algebra that we might have. These are alike, so we're going to add the numbers and carry the radical. Just like if this had been 2x plus 2x. Now we see here we have a plus 4 and a minus 4, so they cancel each other out. So our final expression is x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4. That's our scrap work. So x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4. That's what's going to go on the right hand side of our equation. Let's not forget what we're doing. We're just doing scrap work right now. So we're going to go back to our other page. Now look what we've done. We've just written what we found on our scrap piece of paper. We've written it on the right hand side of the equation in place of where we were doing our work. Now we're back to a problem that just has one radical in it. So we're going to try to isolate that. So I'm going to bring this x over here. Makes it handy because I have, now when I move this x to this other side, it's a minus x. So the x's cancel out. Makes my math a little bit easier. I'm still trying to isolate the radical, so just like in any other algebra problem, I can divide both sides by 4, so I get 1 equals the square root of x minus 4. Now I'm going to square both sides just like we did in the other problems, and I get 1 equals x minus 4. So we end up with x equals 5. Now we want to make sure that we check that. So we would want to go up here and put 5 up here. When we get 5 plus 4 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. We would put 5 here. 5 minus 4 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. 3 minus 1 is indeed 2. So the problem checks out, and our solution is x equals 5.